Question of this. Oh gosh. All right, welcome back to Fate, the Rise of Madness. Uh, this is session 22. The, the uh, uh, Furiously Fast Dragon, Part 3. Yes, yes, yes. We have an ad. Yeah, it's because Twitch likes to make money. <laughs> Wait a second. We, not, now we made we made what? Forty five cents? What was it? Forty five cents? On YouTube? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I remember that being a moment. It was the last Are we monetized on YouTube now? We we don't have a thousand subscribers yet. We can't monetize YouTube. Well, well it was before they instilled that rule. Stuff, mm. Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you you brought up that we got paid like forty five cents. It was like profit. Yeah. Yeah. Profit. Not really. Yeah. 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 Now we're still in that loss. We are um I'm gonna go over what happened last last time. But it's been a little while, so let's get let's do some 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 character. Let's go around the table again. Uh, we'll probably do this every twenty or so episodes, uh, just to, just to keep everybody fresh on who is playing what. Start with Bob. Hey, I'm Quetzal. I'm a bird man. I'm a chef. I love to man. cook. Uh, like while I'm walking the beach. <laughs> um, recently just did a sit in prison. Got swole, joined a gang. And, yeah, you know, a day and a half in prison. <laughs> 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 day and a half, James <laughs> his head. No, no, I did not shake my head. Fucked. No going back. They, 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 they wanted me to We'll get into head. that for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm, hi, I'm Finn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Six foot something. <laughs> 350-pound man of all muscle. Yeah. He uh, he's a big barbarian. He wears, like, a belt and a sword, and that's about it. He does have a scar on his throat. Oh, yeah. Big scar from, on his throat. From uh, an attack, from a frost wolf attack when he was younger, mm. which is why his voice is still so high. <laughs> oh, perfect. I like mm -hmm. it. His throat was damaged. So. It just makes me think <laughs> of Richard time. Yeah. <laughs> which I yeah. love. I, I just assumed it was juicy. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> I mean, it all adds up. Uh, oh, I'm Sarah, and in real life, and in the game, I play Mal. She's a uh, a Mal. Can, can can you say her her full name? Yes, I can. I did create it. Okay. <laughs> what is her full name? It's Malakia Zomatharid. Ooh, that's a good name. Yeah. Exotic. It's a uh, it, like Middle Eastern, mm -hmm. and it all means things. Oh, she is a Mal cat person. Yeah, cat person, and she's a rogue, and uh, she has an English accent that I forget to use most of the time. <laughs> That's okay. But it's there. Especially around Linus, Anthony Linus. Yeah, just throws you all off. Just, yeah. just, just, just yeah. Wainer. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I'm Clank. <coughs> I'm a local manster, homebrew. Uh, yeah. Also That's Android, funny. Android person. Um, I'm actually created by someone who was in our last campaign, Evander Jadar, uh, link in the like. description down below. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, not but, really. Not really, <laughs> but it should be. Oh, wait, there is a link to our YouTube. Link, link. link to the YouTube down below. Well, that's, that's And it's somewhere um, in there. And somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, uh, just cast luck, super support. Um, not very persuasive, I think. Assless chaps. Assless chaps. Um, very important. He recently, he recently has picked up uh, Iron Man sort of like magic missile in hands. Yeah, basically I will end up being Iron Man. I just gotta continue touching myself at night and finding those different spots. Nice. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I like. <laughs> I like. Oh, Christian Lord. Paladin, I kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> Specifically, Sami San, the Lord of Battle. Mm -hmm. uh, you have an Oath of Vengeance who is against all things slavery oriented. That's right, Bob Cap. If I That's understand true. correctly. That's right. And that is because, is because that is weird, uh, of your brother. Right. Yes. Got caught up in the slavery trade. Bad business. <laughs> Just catch up in there. Rough stuff. Um, my character's name is Kane. So he is a. Penumbra Agent, which is another custom class that uh, our DM 
made. It's kind of a take on the mm-hmm. assassin subtype of rogue mixed with uh, aspects of ranger and just a couple other homebrewed type things. It has uh, a, a bit of a shadow dancer feel, like <coughs> three, three, five. Yeah. Uh, yeah or I think it has that too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, personality wise, he's kind of a not much of a jokester. He's a pretty, pretty serious guy. Kind of like a because the Penumbra agents are mostly are like used like almost like government type officials. Think sort of like <coughs> CIA black ops type guys. So he's a little bit of a, yeah. like a G man kind of kind of kind of vibe. So uh, takes takes man, his job seriously. Words. Yeah, and secret backstory. Yeah, which I know and he knows. Yeah, none of these guys. No, we just yeah, no, no one else. The like, number <coughs> asshole that had us arrested. <laughs> yeah. Got the oh, and, yeah, yeah, and uh, I took of the like the first five sessions of the game that we played. You were I, there I like no nobody in the rest of the party actually even knew I was there. Yes. Like I basically shadowed the the party and like attacked from the shadows and then Every he's episode. a creeper. Don't let him yeah. try to play yeah. on. He doesn't he's watch this. Uh, we're we're kind of backlogged a little. I'll I'll get the rest of this. There's so many smells um, coming from here right now. Right. He, yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's maybe the fifth or sixth session we had microphone problems. Uh, and like that, that whole set is just jacked up. So, you want to skip that so one. feel free to edit that, put in whatever audio you like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell anyway, us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just put in a track of, of yakety sex. <laughs> and that's it. This is funny that way. Three and a half hours of it. Okay. Now. Tell us. <laughs> Got six hours after your laugh? <laughs> okay. We have a project. Last right? session. <clears throat> The group <coughs> went to prison. Began their mission of gathering information on the sickle. Dredo Dredo marked Krishna, unlocking his magic powers. Bad motherfucker now. Now uh, allowing him to go sorcery if you wish. After only a single day, Quetzal had joined the Avian Brotherhood of Flight Power and believed himself to be hardened by prison. Believed <laughs> 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 himself. Some guy right there. They threw Jolene down the elevator shaft. Jolene! <laughs> That's what's our bitch uh, Assuming her to be dead. Oh, you guys did? You guys killed her? I yes. left after that. Assumedly. Assumedly. Being, uh, we left her for yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we threw her down there and left her. She didn't what come about back. Exactly. Shortly thereafter, uh, by Elin of Penumbra in the elevator, Quetzal was extremely grateful to be out of there. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe almost to the point of tears. <laughs> It's a, scary, <laughs> it's a scary place down there. It was. <clears throat> now, Toretto, by the way, is wildly confused. Toretto! <laughs> wildly <laughs> Toretto! <laughs> Just because it's been like going crazy, you know. Going down there for a day and a half. He's expecting to be there much longer. Uh, <clears throat> Elon. How many years was I in? <laughs> under, under the guise. It's been 30. Had uh, a tally mark reach out hour. And, and, and understanding that, you know, your cover is kind of a sensitive thing, uh, he does essentially say that it's time for the interrogation before your return to prison. Uh, you're escorted up and out, and you make your way to the police station. Of course, accompanied by various penumbra agents. So we still got all our shit with us. Who who was that got our shit? You got our shit. Kane got our shit. Kane's got you got our shit. Yeah, Kane has all of your loot in the portable hole. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you you don't have it on your person yet. When you because, get it that way. Uh, smartly, Kane was like, "Well, I don't want to blow our cover here." So right. Right. Only begin. On the way to the police station, on time, it's some sort of item. It's like crafting a shield. <laughs> <laughs> I can still breath one. You, you had a shield. You had a shield. I gotta make another one. You, get, you got backups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take it out of feathers and sharpen it. I'm going yeah. back to the yeah. point. Yeah. Point. I will give you. Remember. I will give you the one that that Toretto made. For that. <laughs> yeah. If you remember, Toretto took one of the metal cups and ripped it up into shivs. Uh, I wanted to stab her. 
You did stab her. I did. I wanted like, to stab her to death. <laughs> twice. I didn't want to throw her over the stop. elevator. I wanted to stab her to death. You just walked up and stabbed yeah. her twice. <laughs> like, throw her down now. Man, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> You're basically a McFoyle at this point. Oh, God. <laughs> stab somebody. Stab bitches in the bar. Ah, no. Psychotic. Well, you just told me I was telling me to get out of the prison. It's just like a bird. So, for me or her. Throw some so, milk on it. <laughs> uh, we are going to start from the police station. Uh, <coughs> take each of you and place you into interrogation room. You better not say shit. We're going to start... <laughs> I'll start beeping and moving. <laughs> we're beep, beep, beep. we're going to start with... Yes, R2. Wetzel. Oh. <laughs> Shall <laughs> we? <laughs> Don't say shit. All right. Okay. He doesn't know anything, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> he was off with those other guys. And I was like, well, yeah. He's we're just not going to tell him, I guess. <laughs> who should who should walk in but your good friend, Elon. Elon Musk. Who, who is the one who... He was the number agent that, that arrested us. Oh, right. Am I shackled to the table? No. Yeah, well, I wish it was shocking to the table. <laughs> 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 you should act like, like act like they're being held back. Be like, oh, they want for these chains. <laughs> yeah. he, what chains? What's he walks in quietly, calmly, and he sits down across the table from him. It was Kane. <laughs> He's got a mask on. He says. <laughs> I know. He was king. He did it. Please don't send me back. <laughs> I can't go back. <laughs> Technically. Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, actually, you just kind of I had other people watch. pick her up. You <laughs> stabbed her. Someone else threw her down the shaft. How did you even touch her? That's fine. So clean. So clean. 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 First of all, you ran away. Yeah, I'm not cool with it. It's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that in the prison prepping area. I guess you gotta do what you can do to survive, man. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. hard, man. The it's a hard life. <laughs> no, it was so you could maintain your, your travel with Toretto. Sure, alright. He doesn't know that you were killed. I feel ya. Uh, I take it, given your reaction to things down there, that you were not told. Why you were actually brought down. Oh, no. <laughs> actually, that's been one of my dreams my entire life. I, I thought this was an awesome opportunity. Yeah. Can I get my stabbing knife out? <laughs> now I've got friends. He's got like fake. Oh, boy, here I go kill it again. On his <laughs> I'm somebody's sure. bitch. on tears on his beak. <laughs> Chase, I that's how I picture prison tattoos start. You obviously are intimately familiar now, at least with the dwarf. Oakback, who you stabbed twice, <laughs> yep. if I recall correctly. It was sure, a lumber squirrel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like I said, it was Kane's fault. He's the wingleader. He told me to. And <laughs> he told me to. <laughs> My wings were tied. <laughs> she, was, she was a major lieutenant. And I stabbed her. For <laughs> the sickle. Okay, cool. Then it was my plan all along. <laughs> and we were, the we were sent down there to get. Did you guys a solid? <laughs> You have, I'm assuming you have acquired information that you can act on <coughs> relatively soon. Don't yeah. say shit. I'll take care of it. Are you okay? Uh, I'll, I'll survive. Uh, a little, little shaken, could use a shower. A uh, real shower, not shit water shower. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice feather bed, some hot chocolate. Feather yeah. bed? Feather <laughs> bed? <laughs> 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 I don't think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That now it starts twitching just a little bit. Okay, let me ask you this though. Is is Quetzal really okay though? No, he's, he's angry. He's just an angry man now. Okay. That is hell. Him. He made him hard. <laughs> the <day's laughs> half. They didn't have him. <laughs> he's just an angry. You were there. I seen some shit. For maybe 36 hours. <laughs> I don't even think hours. we were there for a full 36 hours. Hey, the man's changed, the man's changed. <laughs> prison, I just ignore him. My prison does change things to you. <laughs> just don't listen to the hours. You don't come out the same. 
So awesome is melancholy. Doggy dog world. <laughs> Remember the days. What, uh, what? <coughs> have you acquired any additional information from Fred about anything? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> did I? To see if I did too. <laughs> did we? The sister. Yeah, we did. He got a sister. Oh, oh. yeah, he got a sister. Mia. A twisted sister. Mia something. Mia Farrow. Mia. Th Mia Song. Mia Th 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 Mia Th Mia Th Th yeah, that's the one. Wow. <laughs> She's a princess. That's hilarious. Oh. Yeah. I like that's the first Mia that you go to. <laughs> I knew it was a weird last name. <laughs> that's the weird last name that I could think of. I think she's in the Marvel Universe. Stanley does a cameo in the second Princess Diaries. Really? No. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good he question. Why do you know that? went down a YouTube hole, obviously. That, now we all learn things. Now we all learn things. No, Patreon cards. Okay. It comes from first hand experience. Yeah. I love Princess Diaries, I mean, and I know every actor. I like the Princess's Diary. But why is that relevant <laughs> to this whole so happy, yeah, situation? I do not remember what we talked about. No, no. No, no this is. If not, you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, she was, That's why you gotta take notes. Was she kidnapped or something? Yeah, dickhead. It's a little more complicated than that. Just make uh, up really important. Make up stuff. Yeah, make up something. Yeah, you don't, you don't have any idea. You don't have any idea. So, so he is he got the course of the war path. Yeah, he's going through it. <laughs> he's up for the throats. No cheating. I'll be honest, man. I don't, I don't remember. Throat notes. Yeah, I, don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember talking to Toretto. I was so prison disturbed and so bad. I was not for being stuck in prison. PTSD. I see. All I can think about was yeah, okay. getting my getting my game on. <laughs> she should have so, been. She should have been. He says, Mike, what's the name? All right. Oh, I should have. Yeah. Gets up, walks out. Doesn't work out. You're kind of stuck in there. Yep. Uh, you don't see anyone else in the room. We'll go to. Uh, Throw a bar and start doing pull ups. <laughs> start doing pull ups. And the doorway. You like doing push ups. Doing you, push -ups. Like, you like. Flip the table over so the, yeah. so the legs are yeah. you know, so the legs. And you feel like horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Use the chair to do dips. <laughs> Finds the cigarette. Fine. Actually, Find just like my boss car and like just fly. Just fly up and down the hole into the bar. Yes, yes, hilarious. It's carvings in the wall. It's like completely <laughs> missed the point of actually doing <laughs> exercise. And uh, moves on to Finn. Which one would you go? Uh, Who is your daddy? Where does he work? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hello, Finn. Finn. Hi! Uh, this may be uh, a pointless act of attrition, but we're going to do it anyway. It's my job, I'm going to do it. Uh, what? Do you have any information for me on Toretto? I, Eli, remember exactly what he's doing, but I don't think Finn has, a clue. Finn has a clue. <laughs> well, uh, so he drives see. fast. Uh, <laughs> no, I, you just go. Um, <laughs> Toretto's a nice guy. He's tough. Have you seen how strong he is? Jumped yes. out with a motherfucking cup. Yeah, he's tough. <laughs> it's not <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Good talk, Finn. You have kind of like maybe. Uh, a, a couple of minutes of more inane <coughs> conversation yeah. like that. Like, yeah. This, this so is I ferry Tom is gym like, time. And about. then lunch. <laughs> yeah. threw a dwarf down a well. <laughs> you did. Oh, yeah. threw a really mean lady down that well at that place. She was mean. Yes. She took my milk. Yes, she was. <laughs> She took she what? She took my, my milk. She <laughs> took my <laughs> milk. Oh man, that's good. That's really funny. Yeah, he kind of talks a bit, and uh, the shit talks. You can see when he opens the door that like Officer Linus is Ooh. hanging out in the hallway. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, doctor seems, who? He seems a little concerned. For my but sake. For like <laughs> for, for all of you guys. He likes you guys. Yeah. You know. He's our friend. Yeah. You know. Really uh. fond of Mal. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
my friend. Mm -hmm. Is that little cat girl okay? <clears throat> so he, uh, he goes then to Mel. He goes in and sits down. Who? Elon. Okay. You're one of the few that knew kind of what was going on. Kind of. I've written down that piece. What did you find out? Um, well, we um, were able to question Jolene a little bit before her untimely demise <laughs> that I had nothing to do with, I want to say. <laughs> no, she was a uh, very unpleasant individual. Um, that was part of your mission. She's so. That's when she talks. Talks anything that walks. I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we found that... Well, she gave us some information about um, a fancy dance club in the Noble District named the Tangled Web. Yes. Am I supposed to be giving him this info? I don't see why not. Yeah, that's no, absolutely. You. This is absolutely who you want. Oh, do you trust okay. the police? Uh, in real life? <laughs> He's not the police. <laughs> yeah. um, we also yeah, found out that there's someone there we may need to talk to, named Crystal Death Weaver. She's a ribbon, ribbon dancer. Yes. And skilled with spike chain. Ooh. But there's also a leader, according to that girl that is now dead. Even the is now dead? No, no, the, uh, oh, Jolene. Right. According to Jolene, yes. there's a leader over even the girl named Crystal yeah. named Nancilera. Nancilra? Nancilra. This is news to us. That was all in an English accent, I just wanted to Brett calling that. Y'all know. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I assume it's not sure. There was something else. Seven lieutenants. Yeah. Why is Toretto stealing Technos? No. You also know that. I do. Yeah, he told us all. One moment. No. Think Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yep. Oh, that's exactly what he's, he's doing. trying to turn a dog into their daughter. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh God. That's no. the only. Oh, thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a really sad. Yeah, it is. I thought okay. we had this conversation last time. That's why I was sad. Sorry. <laughs> so like, bring is that the people. only thing you've seen on that? Um, I remember Full Metal. Um, is okay. It's a similar concept. To bring someone back to life, I'm assuming, then. Yeah, but it's kind of a little different. Sacrifice a human life. Yeah. Give me an intelligence check. Where are my dice-ticles? <laughs> your dice-ticles. Dice-ticles. They're in your sack. They're in your sack. Where else I found one. Go to the territory. We're not animals. Ooh. Ooh. Nine? Yeah, that's a nine. Intelligence check plus Where's one. intelligence? Oh, Is it over it? Plus oh, one. Plus one. Thirteen. Wait, no, ten. ten. I don't know. I did. I said nine plus, plus one, one equals thirteen, 13. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was still stuck on four. Teen. So what is it? Uh, ten. Ten. Okay. Um, it's been a really crazy couple of days. But you seem to remember something about a philosopher's son. That's what we okay. His sister. I'm going to tell uh, Elon that. Or Elon, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. Elon. 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 I remember exactly something right? about a philosopher's stone. <laughs> his face technos. grows very serious when you mention the philosopher's stone. That's. Uh, it is. It is. It's Toretto. 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 Oh my god. Sorry. I've written his name down as Vin more than once in these ah, notes. Gotcha. Um, that's who he looks like. Yeah. I live with this shit. Mm -hmm. Philosopher's Stone. In my life, a quarter mile at a time. Takes a long time to make, and it requires the sacrifice or the absorption into the stone of a soul. Living soul. 
of either something very powerful or something very innocent. Generally speaking, the very powerful are much harder to come by, so it's typically made with the souls of the innocent, such as children. Can you make the stone? Hmm? Can you make the stone? Can you make the sound? Uh, well, it's found a new recipe. That's a dark turn. It's semi <laughs> knowledge, but it takes six months, a lot of technos, and the sacrificing of a powerful or innocent being. Now, <coughs> the, most of the time they are red and are effectively uh, high, like most of the time single use because it's a very high percent chance that it will break after it's used once. How many souls? One. Oh. Man, they didn't get that memo in um, the the Al Full Metal Alchemist. They were gonna kill a lot of people. Well, that's yeah. I didn't get that memo. Mine, mine's different. <laughs> uh, different philosopher stuff. Just get a group of the only orphans. times. <laughs> the only the time sun. that it is different and not red and it's actually more powerful is when the soul of an ancient dragon is used. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes more of a golden uh, kind of amber color and is not at risk to be destroyed when it's used. It can only be used like once per day, as in insofar as its power allows, but it doesn't break <coughs> when you use it. You can, you can use it more frequently. Only a small handful of philosopher stones exist. exist at all, and an even smaller amount, if any, of the like unbreakable superpowered ones. Uh, I think somebody rolled really high. I think it might have been Harriet. Whenever he mentioned it, and I like yeah, did the info dump. <laughs> yep, I don't remember. I think it was a nature check. Or something. I do. Mm -hmm. It was a history or nature or something like that. Anyway, point is unpleasant things. Um, they're very powerful, but it takes a really sadistic person to make one. Uh -huh. You've yet to deter Bob. And the soul. <laughs> yeah, I'll like, still like, with you. You know, when, when someone dies, their soul returns to the veil, and they can go to whatever afterlife they're, Bahala. they're, they're deemed worthy of, I suppose. <coughs> uh, but when you make a philosopher's stone, the soul is destroyed. Ooh. Oh. Brutal. Yeah. And it doesn't go somewhere else. It's consumed. It is consumed by the stone Ooh. and destroyed, which is why it is a heinous, heinous crime to make one. Now, <laughs> to whom? Yeah. What is the really evil stone? And where if they can find out, if they find out that someone's trying to make one. They go full force and kill whoever's trying to make one oh, before it happens. They take, they, they take a soul from like a witch or something. Yeah, that's... I do. Everything's entitled to its soul. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> that's this week's catchphrase. <laughs> well, a lich um, could theoretically be used, but... It would have to be a really powerful one, and getting a really, really powerful, powerful one's soul one. into this thing would be or, really, really hard. Pour out the phylactery. Huh? Yeah. Pour, pour, out. pour out the spotlight. It's not like a. I know. <laughs> it's a pour, little bit of pouring the soul. Yeah. A little bit of soul in that. That's very funny. <laughs> Let's we'll spice this up. After your your discussion, he uh, well actually this somewhat uh, he talks to each of you. That's not exactly what Toretto had said though. Thought. Hmm? I don't know. I just her story from what I remember Toretta saying is a little, little that one key detail is a little flipped. Is Maybe. that Rotfin who wasn't ever paying attention the whole last time? Do you mean you mean the fact that it's not him trying to make the stone? Yeah. 
that main thing, that he's yeah. trying to stop the stone from being made. Oh, well, let me that's, change that's, that's an interesting change. He, yeah, so... That's a key detail. He, he <laughs> is not trying to make one himself. He's trying to <laughs> stop the stone from being made from his sister. Who's, who took his sister to... Well, he's just trying to get back his sister. He'll probably give a fuck less about yeah. the stone. And so he's not the one who's probably stealing the technos. Oh, no, he's stealing the technos. Oh. 100%. I can make a card pass. Right? Yeah, he can start a rebellion. It's to... Well, he hasn't told you yet. I Got think it. I know why. Yeah, we don't know what he's doing, we know, but we, we know, don't know why he's stealing it. Trying to sell it to the person he's trying to get but it. He snorts it. The idea <laughs> is it has, yes. it has something to do with the fact that his sister was taken, yeah. and he's trying to save her from being turned uh, into a philosopher. From stone. being super murderized. I missed a huge part of that explanation last time, I guess. Um, <sighs> it was he spins right over the now, town. Quessels had, like, you you were kind of treated first, so to speak, as, as, as far as the discussion goes. So it's a good 25, 30 minutes before you're all kind of called. So hours, I'm stuck in this cell. Huh? Hours, I'm stuck in this cell. And He's on bird time, time remember? <laughs> it's been a week. Birds do operate a little faster mentally. Just throw a blanket over him. In real life. Yeah, he'll think it's night time. Yeah, he'll think it's night time. He'll sleep. That's, that's <laughs> Hang a sheet in front of his cell. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> if he ever gets on a nose, I'm going to throw sheets over him. They just turn the light off and like, you go to sleep. Sheets that's the sheet yeah. yeah. That's really funny. Um, yeah. Make my own clothes and have a bunch of sheets to throw over you. Yeah. <laughs> so our friend can sleep. <laughs> um, they spend more time, I think, with Kane because you can you kind of have that. I think Kane has access to the most information. Yeah, like, yeah. And I get into the room and I start doing the robot. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I'm uh, going back yeah. out. <laughs> uh, and then he's, they go in and, and talk to Toretto for about the longest time so far, maybe 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm never going to betray my family. He. You're all <laughs> escorted out of the police station. And you're not handcuffed or anything. And he says, there are some changing rooms right here. You guys are free to go. Hey! <laughs> What's up? Mike says so loudly. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Now, we would prefer if you, if you change into your normal gear before you just walked around this town looking like prisoners. <laughs> Let's say I saw Aww. my dog sitting on, right? Because we don't want any widespread panic at our prison system. Can Papa keep his outfit? Yes, he but, can. Yeah. Cute. Have another way. I really know it's going to be afraid of your cute little pop yeah. I really need to get mad at my stuff. Throw it yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Bites your eye out. <laughs> uh, <coughs> he actually, uh, when you step outside, all of your carts are there, including Toretto's. Oh, he yeah. Says, Okay. And you start driving, right? Start driving. Dun, 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 it's uh, dun, 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 dun. probably midday. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I would say yeah, since midday, uh, you stop by uh, Sarah Snacks' sleep house, get a nice, get a nice snack. Uh, snack. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes. I actually stay in the car when you stop by. I was like, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> I like the roll of the window and look at it roll right back up. <laughs> <laughs> made it here safely from Ignac. <clears throat> she made uh, some some delightful donuts for you guys. Donuts. They're real good. How does Toretto feel about nice. this <laughs> donut incident? <laughs> Insight. That's, that's time. It's time to, to have Get a little chat right. at Sarah Snacks' sleep house while while you're eating delightful donuts, which are not like we know donuts. They're like pastries. Like I, I kind of d d described these before, but they're like regular pastries, like w like the uh, cream-filled ones would be, but the middle's been torn out. Oh. Do they have cocaine on them? No. <clears throat> Okay, no. Darn. Sarah, it was worth a shot. Sarah eats out the middle uh, 
every donut. single one. Because she's mm-hmm. all about snacks. Sometimes. She goes ham on the donut holes, y'all. Yeah. She do. <laughs> Lay all the donut holes. That she do. <sighs> I like to imagine she did this in a recently hand-washed sort of way. No, I think she just pulls up the door and goes, all the dirt she has on there. She's like, it's almost done. Like, Did these have teeth marks already? <laughs> no, it's clearly not bitten. It's, clear, it's clearly torn. Yeah. I just like to imagine her hands were clean or she no, was wearing gloves. You don't gloves. start with those. Those are kind of dessert. <laughs> yeah. You look around and you see no like, sink anywhere. Yeah, like, she doesn't wash her hands. Like There's no gloves. <laughs> this shit won't run down the road. We don't care about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's. Uh, let's do it. No, the big city has, has plumbing and stuff. Ah, oh, pipe the shit right out of your back. house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes down to the sewers where gelatinous cubes eat everything. Eat everything. Oh, they eat all the eat shit and they oh, don't die. Oh, that's good. We need some of those in the real world. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, I'm good stuff. on that. Because you can't see them until you're right up on them most of the time. And they eat you. And nope. then you get stuck in That's <laughs> why I don't go in the, in the sewers very often. Yeah, yeah. I prefer well, not to hang out there. True. The problem is, in real life, like, I'm an NPC. I don't have, I don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just go dumping in the acid stuff. Yeah, level up, bro. Think of, uh, you know, like yeah. player one. We have to go into the realm, we have to level up with your own stuff. Stop being such an NPC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be NPCs a player character. Sides. What are you doing? Yeah, you would totally have a quest marker. Yeah. You would have a quest marker. Oh, right absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For everyone. For everyone. <laughs> Go kill five. Radiant dwarves. quests. <laughs> 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 oh, those are dead. Kill seven. I'll, seven. You I'll, kill kill like I'll give you two silver and five cups. <laughs> and a oh, whole yeah. bunch of XP. I have like two lines of scripts. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 100 XP. It's like morons thought XP is an actual currency. And so like, this idiot just gave me five boars worth of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go grind them. Yes! Uh, try, try to cheat the character. Meat for a long time. <laughs> Never do the quest. Uh, that's great. Wow, that would be a fun life. <laughs> I don't think I'd be so sad. Kind of a corner, uh, corner want table away from anyone else. Yeah, exactly. Finishes up a bite of food. And he says, "What? What was that about?" I am so confused. <laughs> I agree. Try to just why we just went to prison. I'm like cuddling over my food, we were in out. For a day and a half. I thought Toretta would be in the know. I guess I don't know. Then they just let us go. I don't know. They said they were so impressed with my prowess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's right about love with you. Okay. For the past several months, myself and Mal have been Mal. working with a thieves guild that's informally known as the Sickle. You may you may have heard heard of them. I have. Uh, we believe that. Well, the arresting officer cut a deal with the two of us that if we could get information out of that dwarf that they needed, they would let us go free. Otherwise, we were going to rot. We didn't. We felt we didn't have much choice. I see. We we took the the only option that laid before us. That's where we came to cop. <laughs> if you're a cop, you have to tell him. He's a cop, man. He's a cop. <laughs> Are you a cop? <laughs> no, I'm not a cop. Oh, uh, man. That's really funny. Uh, well, if you're going to be part of the crew, I'd like to be the first to know these things. Pull your family. And the truth. Ouch. I've known you for a day and a half. We haven't had had exactly a lot of opportunity to That's fair. divulge much information between each other. Um, he he kind of uh, thinks for a second, and you see his eyes kind of flare a little bit, a little bit brighter, and then they fade back to the normal mild glow. Never got 
to really finish our talk. <clears throat> Sir Barrington vouches for you. Oh. I forgot about him again. <laughs> Sir Barrington. I always forget until he shows up. That means a lot. He also has to be saw my prowess in the street racing. Saw your what? My prowess in the street racing. <laughs> yes, you're all skilled drivers. Need two precision drivers. Uh, <laughs> uh, he should be on his way. And we'll be able to have our full, full chat about this. Full chat. But I wanted him to be he's here. Shit, he's like, rah, 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 rah. Who's that? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I feel like, like, did you say who? Or you, it, it's, it's like a. Oh, Wookie kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He just constantly growls and everyone's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Very after, insightful. After, there. after not, not really very long, maybe maybe a few minutes, as, as you're kind of finishing up your sort of main course, uh, Ian walks uh, Sir Barrington. A little tricycle. Can I roll this <laughs> <up> to see <laughs> little cat. Oh, oh yeah. Ian yeah, yeah. walks he on yeah. a tricycle. Yeah. 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 He's wow. holding it up. Give me a let me get nature investigation here. Okay, sure. Give me an investigation check. Right. Investigation is <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Put your hat on. Advantage. Put the hat on. Yeah. Oh, hat. Roll. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes hat. He's my okay. advantage. I will tell you Shut that I rolled a 13 and his deception is plus 17. Oh, oh shit! Oh. That's a Jesus! Is it a red house? They're not going to waste no, the card. Well, it's a Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Check. Oh, duh, because he's a fucking bear. He's a bear. Super charismatic bear. Wait to think he's humanish. I'm a bear, bitch. <laughs> Max is 28, so I can't even do it. He, uh, yeah, he, can't. he walks it's in. Um, some of the other patrons are. We're bang, dad. Bang, Sam. What's up? It's like, hur, hur. 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 You guys can hear it. Hands down, your best NPC ever. Hi. Hi. I'm a bear, bitch. And then uh, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah uh, sees him, and she kind of walks up a couple of steps to, look, to be able to see over the, the bar, because she's a little halfling person. It's kind of funny to watch her try and walk upstairs. Because it's wide. Because she's like... Almost as wide as she is. <laughs> she's just like crawling up the stairs. She has the and, uh, or something. <laughs> I got the one step she at a time. Says, uh, I lost my foot. Sir Barrington, you want some snack? <laughs> and he says, Bruh. Bruh. Of course. And then, of course, she like. It's a, a big she, thing of bear claws? She. Oh, well, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's good. She like pulls off this huge tray of bear claws. Uh, it's her favorite snack, Sir Barrington. Uh, he, he picks it up. In fact, she calls them a bear claw if, after, after him. him. yeah. And, and puts nice. it. And like, like brings it over to the table. And he, th- he doesn't say or do anything, he just like starts. Actually, he doesn't use his spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite when you have to talk to yourself. That's, yes. that's my favorite NPC interactions. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've got a story to tell you about a different, different ca- uh, game that we played once. Yeah. I have an yeah. Xbox thing to tell you, too. It was amazing. <coughs> and um, my favorite Gerald interaction with himself ever. <laughs> this is I'll say no. Yeah, tell us. We can do um, a quick sidebar. Tell us and our viewers. Because whenever we did the, z- the zombie <laughs> RPG. Oh. <laughs> so, um, there were only like three of us, like players, so and you Gerald was... Uh, Jesse or something like that? Yeah, it was me and Alex and... I, was someone else? It was Jesse. Okay, it was... Okay. Yeah. And uh, Gerald was also like playing a, nim- or a PC with us, as well as DMing. Oh, and right. he had a That's and he had a, cool. he had a he had a character that had like a psychotic break in his like zombie post apocalyptic, and he, the guy actually thought he was Batman, and like he had, but he like lived up to it like beat down on everybody but kept having like saying like we need to find Gordon we have got to check it back in with Gordon, <laughs> and yeah. did you see that That's the bat signal. We yeah. eventually we eventually found this guy. And we made we Gerald made Gerald continue to like like we wouldn't let him let yeah. this conversation <laughs> die. So he was like doing like like and eventually just again to sort of for the, the, the sidebar they found out why he had a psychotic break. 
Because he was Batman. Because his parents were killed. His name was Bruce. It wasn't Bruce Wayne. It was just Bruce something. Uh, but they, they, at some point, they went to his house. And his parents were dead. And they found his wife as a zombie chained up in the house. Oh. His wife's name was Robin. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he she crazy. died. She died and became a zombie. And he just went bad shit crazy. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Dude no pun could intended. beat down some zombies, though. Yeah. Oh it was, it was, it was very <laughs> That uh, shit. He was a monster. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was a monster. That poor, was a fun game. Poor Brian. I digress. Oh my gosh, yeah. <coughs> another story for another time. Another story for another time. Go by <sighs> tank. <sighs> okay. That was a lot of references. Yeah. That was Are you yeah. overwhelmed? We, yeah, well, it was, it was Batman, Rick Grimes, and um, oh, what did you just say? Left for Dead. Left for Dead, the tank, yeah. Slam into a fire truck. Yeah, there's a yeah. no fucking joke. Like insta death. Yeah. Gruesome. Gruesome. <laughs> deal. We're like okay. Um, Sir Barrington it doesn't take Sir Barrington long to finish eating all the bear claws, and he's he's good. And that's a kind of a loud burp, uh, which that's gets cute. which gets a few cheers from 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 the patrons hmm. there. Uh, he says. Elon's character goes up and just shits. His yeah. parts. He's like, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loud <laughs> yeah. He's, that hurt. That He's so hurt. happy Funny. about it. Yeah. Here is me! Fredo <laughs> uh, has a brief uh, conversation with Sir Barrington. And then, just, just to re clarify a few things. Of course, Sir Barrington, uh, Harriet understands the whole conversation. You can only understand Toretto's side of it. Oh, I know. Because he speaks know. common. I see that one. That's Sir hilarious. Barrington, the bear, can't really speak common or any other <laughs> Anything really. <laughs> Just bear. <laughs> he can barely speak uh, thieves can't. He doesn't really have like fingers in the conventional sense. <laughs> no, he's bear falls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have like opposable thumbs or anything. So let me get this straight. This motherfucker is growling, and I cannot tell he's a This bear. motherfucker. No, yeah, he's too charismatic. But he can't even talk to me. Everyone nope. thinks he's not a bear. He's just a foreign person. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just, just a bad accent. It's <laughs> real bad yes, accent. Just, I will tell you, it's the yeah, best NPC he's ever created. Charismatic. You just have, 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 I mean, him. you can understand him and sort of get the gist of what he's saying. Even though like the you know, context yeah. was God damn like hand He's motions. very good with like, learn the at, language. At, at a One more level I can learn the language. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm hungry. Yeah. Learn nothing there. Yeah. Like, oh, I think he's hungry. Uh, Got anything to drink? <laughs> Toretto says, All right. Do you know about the philosopher? Which surprisingly did not result in any of us dying. That was a good I'm day. amazed by that. I don't. You guys, yeah, you guys are lucky as hell. Uh, I died. Have you checked, have you checked in with all of your residents? Parts, parts of Quetzal part died. died. <laughs> <laughs> I have His well, cocaine. No. I mean, we that was violated. Stroke right here. He dropped the soap. Uh, but Sir Barrington says that they're doing okay. Jet's okay. Hmm. Uh, this is weird. So, did you say anything there? <laughs> What'd you say? What was that? Uh, <laughs> uh, flight uh, power, land lover. Don't you fashion me? <laughs> yeah. Flight power! You'd be nice to be there. <laughs> I got some guys. I don't, I don't have a problem with Barrington. Don't do them. Doesn't have a problem with me. Barrington. Oh no, Sir Barrington doesn't have a problem with anyone. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, he's good. He's a cool guy. Trustworthy. Right. He's an animal good driver. that knows no malicious Surprisingly. things. Surprisingly. Good driver. <laughs> Does Toretto know? He doesn't necessarily speak. I feel like Toretto knows everything. Oh, he's, he's got true sight. Yeah. Toretto, like Harriet, uh, knows that he's a bear. Yeah. But he just plays along with it because he thinks it's funny. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, 
And he has, and he has, like, legitimately grown fond of, of Sir Barrington, because Sir Barrington's a cool dude. Um, it's like his pet now. Drinking buddies. Well, Sir Barrington is a very high, I mean, Sir Barrington is a high level rogue that the minimum deception, persuasion, and performance rolls is uh, 27. It's 27-ish, yeah. Oh, I can beat that. It's 10 plus yeah. uh, your modifier, which is 17 for him. Exactly. It's pretty rad. So if he rolls a 1 through 10, you can get it if you roll a natural 20. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> we are. You try to tell everybody they think you're crazy as fuck. We hey. are all So you're telling me the chance. <laughs> <laughs> We're close to having enough technos to finish the room. The room? Yes. The individual, <laughs> the individual who has the... Uh, there's by the name of Johnny Drag. Of course he does. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what's he dressed like? Yeah, what's he what's he look like? I feel like he looks like Don <laughs> Vieri. Is, is he a tough looking fella? Please give him my home. <laughs> looks like he's like my family. Yeah. Something dark. It was you. He has the glowing eyes like I do. Mm. Like he could have spent a little more time on his name. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Drag shoots through school. It's a reference to Johnny Tran from the first. Yeah, best I got him. I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> he also may be in drag. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, like, was is it Johnny or is it Jonna? <laughs> Let's <laughs> get it right. It's a little overt. Flat collar. <laughs> the rune. The rune that we're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it's last card. <call. laughs> to trap him. It's not my last card. We'll have it set up at the end of a race. We're trapping Johnny Drag? Yeah. That's the plan. We have, and I, like, we have everything in motion. But we're short a little bit of Technos. We just need to do one more job. A couple of Nissan SR20s. I feel like we should question him. Wars. <laughs> like, I feel <laughs> like he's gonna try to kill this person and use it the way a philosopher's stone would. Like, as a sacrifice. Can I ask him that? Yeah. Are you gonna sacrifice this guy? No, I'm trying to stop him from sacrificing me. Oh, okay, so he's the guy we're after then. Yes. Okay. Well, I had a different name I, written down. <laughs> I think. <coughs> He's not directly responsible. <coughs> he knows who is. And I'm pretty sure he's with me. Okay. Now you you haven't told anybody what Toretto actually is. I say Cain would be the only one who might have already figured it out, but I don't feel it's my place to tell anybody about his personal secrets. secrets. Yeah. You don't kiss and tell, as they say. Before, I talk about his dick before you, scaly, scaly, talk about them, talk about them, talk about them. Like your Xbox. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, you guys missed that joke. <laughs> uh, Our viewer. Before, yeah. <laughs> before we begin, I need poltergeist. Icebox. <laughs> it needs to be full disclosure. Full trust. We have one more place to go. You finish eating. You can all get back in your respective carts. So, can I ask you a question real quick? Yes. Is, uh, for my cart, will the Gallo 25 or 2060? Bird to dragon here. <laughs> <laughs> flying species to flying species. Yeah. Uh, I understand what you're saying, like, out of game. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. not how the magic cards work <laughs> in the game. Did you realize pizza places made, made it in uh, That's a good line. See, I can't work with you. <laughs> you guys have watched way too much Fast and Furious. I love the <laughs> It's just, it all comes back to you. Well, for yeah. I like it cars. For me. <laughs> it works really well. It comes back to me. 
bong sound effect, not dong sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the internet. <laughs> As bong, not he, dong. The bong. He ignores your question. Shoots from the bong. Gets into his car. Didn't even allow Sarah Snacks main engines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's the bomb. Drive, <laughs> Not the dog. Who's got the bomb? You drive for another... I think we need that in our house. Uh, <laughs> ten minutes or so through the city. And you yeah, come I'm trying to, to think of what sound effects of a bong. You come to this... <laughs> <laughs> you come to this enormous warehouse. Like, I think it's a huge hold of the sound effects. And he... Uh, Is my horse there? Stuff. Yeah, sure. Sweet. Why not? <laughs> yeah. He's just so waiting for him. To summon it. Who is the nope. I think that Jack and Diane. Summon it That's going to find. They're probably it. long gone, mm. but they're something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's been like Jack and Diane. Jack and Diane. Will. I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's so much at some point. I want them to make a comeback somehow. I don't know how it will how, how happen. I'm pretty sure they'll have to get. You'll have to get. Uh, you'll have to buy some more donkeys. That's where they went. Donkeys. We took them. Donkeys. <laughs> Don't, we'll, we'll talk okay, about this later. We weren't even born yet. Jack and Diane are. Right. In this we weren't. <laughs> but time travel. <laughs> but time travel. Uh, you go to this warehouse and it is vacant. There's nothing in this warehouse. Uh, with a small exception. In one corner of the warehouse, there is a workstation that has a series of parts. Maybe like a... like vehicular parts and a small uh, small canister of technos. What is that shit robot man? I don't know. I start describing it and just <laughs> <laughs> shoving it in orifices. The canister of technos. I, I do want to look at what this stuff is okay. before I start. It's car parts. It's car parts. Ooh. It's car parts. It's not. The prison it's, bucket. It's, it's not. It's not artifice parts. <laughs> Can I look for an exhaust? It's just like, like, wait. This is a, <laughs> Anything's a part of your brain. Like, no. That's not how that works. <laughs> I just open my mouth. I'm like, ah. <laughs> and he says. He says. Uh, <laughs> you have asked those chaps. Don't eat that. Oh. <laughs> stand, stand here. I'll do it for you. Out. Oh, wait. He kind of walks out into the middle of, of this, this exceedingly large warehouse. And then his eyes brighten to the point that it lights up like the whole warehouse. Uh, it's not blinding, but it's very, very bright. And you can see his form begin to change. Oh shit, son! The goddamn size, transformer. His size increases dramatically. Oh shit, son! I drank way too much of that prison. He falls down. <laughs> he falls down <laughs> onto uh, all fours. Oh and shit! His hands begin to bulge out, and s- shiny silver scales begin to appear. Oh his shit! The, the fuck! The scale dragon etches its way up both arms, down his back, and as as they reach the point where wings would be, the wings grow out. And, and f- unfurl, as it were. Uh, it continues, and his tail extends as well. All right. It it's, in, fucking it's pretty hard. It's, it's pretty dope. Colossal, colossal silver dragon. Dragon guy. Yeah. Flight Huge. power. Fills up maybe half of this warehouse. Just in, in his, like... He's bigger than three blocks right here. Yeah, he's huge. Well, very, dang. very big. What was the yeah. purpose of this? Now you're just taking up so Transparency. much space. He's showing his ass. <laughs> Way to be a show off to Red Eyes. <laughs> his voice is much deeper in, in uh, Dragon Ball format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, uh, you know, <laughs> deeper than Vin Diesel's. <laughs> now I am only this. <laughs> no, this shit. Now you know the truth. Ah, oh, fuck! Um, you're he, dragon! He, he doesn't have the, the fear or a. Uh, Active right I feel like now. Finn's all sparkly. Yeah. Like, no, he's he's a silver but dragon. It is a sight to behold for sure. Um, you can tell, and it explains a lot, like his 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 absurd strength, uh, his glowing eyes, everything sort of be, begins to make more sense now that you see him in his true. Mm-hmm. Wrong. So now. Do you have anything that you are hiding? Don't say shit. 
shit. I open up my chest. <laughs> I have a hole here. <laughs> I'm growing holes daily. <laughs> I throw it out. Choo choo! Choo choo! Oh, yeah, do you have a hoot hoot? I forgot. I do, I'm a hoot hoot. There he is! It, it like, spawns, sees the huge dragon, Shits and itself. gets, like, combat ready, but then <laughs> senses that none of you are, like, weapons drawn or anything, yeah. and just moseys over to Harriet, and, like, sits down on his butt. Boo. All, like, huge, but cute owl bear. And hoot hoot. <laughs> hoot. <laughs> Which translates to. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why are you we really gonna fight this? What? <laughs> seated, the way that it is, it comes up to about. I would say that it's still, like, as tall as 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 Harriet. Yeah, it's like when it's big seated. old Damn, boy. It's that big? huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Owl bear. Big feathered bear bird. Technically, its size category is large, but it's it's you know it's a good size. It's a huge bitch. Huge bitch. He's indeed. <sighs> His eyes flare with, uh, I guess, you know, more magicnessness, and he scans through, scans all of you, and he reaches over to. Uh, it's very like, it's not aggressively per se, but he reaches over to Quetzal, and his, his huge claw. Just goes boop on the beak he boops where you that mark is, and the mark glows yep. from the free regiment. It's on your beak, right? Yeah. I, well, uh, <laughs> if I recall correctly, it was on your beak. That's right. Throw it out a secret too, and then I rip off all my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like, grunt, like I'm trying to get bigger or something. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you rip off your chest. Yeah, I'm just standing naked. And there's a jaybird. <laughs> I see. Do you? Work for the guild. To be honest, all of you. I only work for the guild because I killed someone and then. Get back to life. <laughs> it's, really? it's a long story. I did it because I needed friends. <laughs> it's a long story, too, <laughs> I was lonely. <coughs> I kind of got forced. The sickle this. sucked. <laughs> yes. I suppose it does. Let me have words when you do this. I understand why you deemed it necessary to hide that. You couldn't trust me at the time. You can tell that he is clearly metallic dragon. Silver. So he's cool. So he's cool. Um, <laughs> dragons who are not necessarily unknown in uh, this realm, the metallic ones are known to be generally nice. Uh, if not a little standoffish. Metallic <laughs> versus chromatic. Yeah. They don't seem to care much, uh, usually, about the problems of others. Unless it's directly relevant, you know. So, now, are you still willing to help me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, look at you. I think yeah. I'm my clothes. We want back. you as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want you. We down. We down, Toretto. I live for this shit. Toretto. <laughs> do I keep us some spells in there? <laughs> Toretto. I gotta ring a spell store and keep us some spells in there for me. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Well, I can't. Put wish in there. Which one? <laughs> I don't know. What I'm a dragon bitch. At least you get spells it. to get from a dragon man. I'll give you a list. <laughs> he sort of. You can see him begin to. Uh, Cast a little bit of everything at the same time. <laughs> Whatever you want. Human eyes? Uh, oh, yeah. It's very Animorphs, yeah. like the covers of Animorphs books. Yeah. Is it, did, 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 did he rip through his clothes whenever he turns out dragon? It's, it's a little weird. strange to watch. Uh, no, his clothes do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> frame by frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a sound effect with it. Did anyone else watch Animorphs grow up? Oh, I, I watched the show. It. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. I loved it. The books were much better. Wait, I didn't read the book, so yeah. the show was uh, very no. weird. I saw the Stein books went to. Not. Was that ever Wizard? If you want to look at no. I think so. What? Yeah. It was around that time. R.L. Stein. Yeah. 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 Is there sorcerer? Good stuff. He shrinks back down to his standard uh, Toretto ness ness that you all understand. <laughs> Uh, it's close to being the time for the job. Are you guys in on this? Yeah! It's job time. <laughs> yes? Hashtag job time. No better time than the present. You have an in, Jane. With? Guild. We've all been. <laughs> Just now? <laughs> I needed so much, I didn't think they would give it. But I don't need much now. Hmm. We're going to go ask for Technos? Is that? What are your thoughts? Is that what oh, he's asking us to do? We can go steal it, of course. Uh, we could try asking. But it may be easier to just, if you all have a name of the guild. It is sometimes easier to placate. We should see Jemaine. We should see Jemaine that uses slaves. And there, oh, there, there's the plan. Technos is not gathered in mines. I mean, I guess it could be if it happens to exist in mines, but it's not something that's mined. Ah. How do you get it? Um, it is found in varying locations around Arton. It's kind of like lava. Um, Most of the it is, places. Uh, certain magic users can refine it from the air around them and vary materials. Um, Technos is technically within everything, so sometimes like the force, it's just a matter exactly of like the force. siphoning it. That's what I was thinking. It's like siphoning it in ways to generate, like a big giant so convincing machine the building form. could be. Well, there's They're a slave awesome. factory of wizards theory. doing that yes. right now. Um, this is a sweatshop of wizards. But we have to have like wizards and magic people to do that, and we don't really have any of that, right? No. Okay. No. We gotta go gank it. Uh, no. Your sweatshop. Your power right now is divine, as technically is Harry's, though it's more sort of primal in nature. Magic. It is more divine than arcane. Uh, as you begin to learn about your new powers and then unlock the new Krishna, uh, it is more arcane in nature. Mm -hmm. So, perhaps with time you'll be able to do that. Refining Technos is not an easy I'm consuming. So, uh, unless you have many, many helpers doing it along with you, it's not really a good like, business venture per se, you know, but useful in certain applications. <sighs> if we can, I'd rather not have to steal it. Perhaps this time we can go through the right channels. Shouldn't be that difficult. Who do you have contact wise within the guild? The Gorgon chick. In the sickle? No. No, in the guild. I can get in touch. We don't have much time. It needs to happen soon if it's going to happen at all. Mm -hmm. And how much do we need? If you'd rather not, you just 
ten. Ten thousand white dragons. <laughs> Ooh, ten tech tosses. Ten thousand white dragons worth. Do you have the money for that? <laughs> well, of course I do. Oh, okay. That's not so let's find someone to sell it for eight thousand and make two thousand profit. That's business. That's not how that works. I'm assuming you don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plan. There's like 20 intelligence. You just talk no. out loud. You're the gang solves the gas so crisis. To put but that into a little the gang solves the gas crisis. So there are some spells Basically what's that happening right now. require uh, food. It's, sunny, it's cost, all Sunday references tonight. Right? So like, so like Revivify, for example. 50 times, uh, 50 gold point down, yeah. Requires a 500 gold piece value diamond, right? We don't have, I don't have material components, so it's sort of extra refined technos. Um, <coughs> that is done so for those kinds of spells. Um, 10,000 white draca worth is a lot. It's like a, like a oil barrel. Like a fifty-five gallon drum. Yeah, like it's 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 a lot. It takes a while to get that much in that particular refined format. Our tech in the sort of lesser format does exist in like varying pools and stuff. Um, you've encountered it once in the dungeons of Damodar, if I recall, maybe mm -hmm. twice there, and then there was. Did we do talk to Sven? Somewhere else, too. Mm, no. Yeah, I mean, that is certainly... Maybe. I mean, we would straight up have to buy it if we went to talk to Sven. Well, that's what he's trying to do, is buy it. That's... that's I mean, he's, just, he, he's just wanting to acquire something. No, he's got the money. He's saying he had the 10,000 point drop Yeah. I mean, does he, he doesn't really want to spend it, though. Yeah, he says, he's saying he wants to buy it. He, he's saying okay. he doesn't want to steal this stuff. One thing that you also know is that he... He's be wanting to get it. He oh, clearly for, does not have the this. dragon madness, in as far as like I must hoard all my money kind of a thing. Like he is very free with his money. Okay, this is Ghost C Spin. You can't tell that he was. He sells he everything for coffee. Me. If he doesn't sell tech, I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. I see a bitch. Yeah, let's take it to the spins. Yeah. Does that work for your way else? What? I will go and continue the design work on the room. He gives you where it is. He kind of gives you the address where it is. <coughs> uh, it's in a kind of abandoned road. An old abandoned road in the slums area. We're gonna race there. We're gonna race. Yes. Street race, anyone? There will be a street okay. race, but uh, we're gonna do a little bit stretch. differently. Oh, it was. It's the last time it took earlier. way too long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> play that much faster this time around. So where are you going? Spins. Going to spins. Yep. Okay. You go to spins. There is a. Mel, who is uh, seems ever present at the the smut reading uh, Mel front. Hello, Miss Cat Lady. Lady. <laughs> yes. We'll close. We'll close to that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I require a mm -hmm. large barrel of refined technos. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> How much would that cost me? On the DL, bitch. Ajit has wares if you have coin. I have coins. <laughs> uh, I said that already, bitch. I forgot he was a Khajiit. <laughs> how much coin is? How, how much technos do you need? Big old barrel. 55 gallons. I don't know what you're using to spend in this world, but. <laughs> Metrics. Uh, value. Oh. 10,000 pet truck of coin? Huh. But you can charge me 8,000 for it, it'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Charisma. Okay. No, there's a very, uh, I got that charisma. I got that very precise way of how that is made. Okay. Um, no discount. 
I kind of like going to the gas station. Mm. <laughs> That's not something we usually sell. Usually. Um, do, do we have to kill somebody? It's like it's like selling like a hundred pounds of C4 to somebody. Or cocaine. Well, that's not worth the gill. Not touch my beak. I realized that. Uh, selling me the C4 in stock. Somebody's got the bag. Let me. Uh, Oh, we're going to get arrested again. <laughs> you wait right there. Uh, That's basically the equivalent of like YouTube searching yeah. how to make a bomb. Yeah. Through, through this kind of curve. I'm going to Walmart and say, do you guys have drugs We're all instantly here? on the There's, watch list. Uh, you hear like a... Uh, ding, ding, ding. So can you please uh, direct like, me to the like two liter bottles? Yes. Uh, Drano so, and quick little note. Uh, what I picture is, oh, you walk in, and on your left, all. right there's the counter. Mm-hmm. But then there's a door behind that that goes back outside, but it's... Back office. Walking right back out the front, but that's where the back office is. (laughs) They could just walk this. Thinking it? Yeah. Uh, Kind of. And uh, and then there's like just a thousand eyes. Oh, yeah, of course. In the other direction, it's just giant warehouse of magic. Yeah. Out from behind Kirk steps a Glamida, which is a big, muscly, llama faced guy. Um, he is wearing poofy pants uh, and a kind of like loose fitting vest. So Aladdin? Uh, he, he, he is dressed kind of like Aladdin. Yes. It's a little tiny vest. Thank you, come he, on. he is not wearing a fez. Damn. <coughs> so close. <laughs> and he he kind of steps steps up and says, uh, "Hello, my name is Sven. Welcome to Sven's Coffee Shop. Oh my God, we sell everything but coffee. <laughs> I hear you want to buy refined technos. Yes. Yes, please. What for? Uh, for guild business. For the children. For the Make a Wish Foundation. No, no. Don't lie to me. <laughs> no, a I project I'm working business. on for school. Hit, hit the button on the <laughs> This whole project. Yes, you are with the Free Regiment, yes? Yes. Known as Steamrollers. Yes. For now. Cleveland Steamrollers. For now. Subject to change. Okay. Eisenschmidt has, has a way of making names stick. Stick. Um, for what? It, that's a lot of technos for guild business. The guild has ties with the university. You can just get it from there. Sure, because our It takes longer. That is true. We don't take solitude. Yeah, we, we yeah, consider the parade. I suppose that is true. We need to see. What, what for? A school project. Uh, no. I don't know. Like <laughs> they just told um, me. That's children. No, don't we need to. Uh, what what does your appearance level look like? <laughs> we have to set a trap for a person who's kidnapped a, uh, a metallic dragon and plans to use her to create a philosopher's stone. Ah, We're saving see? someone. Thank you. To save no. someone. That's what I was going to say, but I can't. <laughs> That's it's like just. A hero Total is, transparency. Uh, that's just crazy. Yeah, which is uh, why we need uh, a lot this is of techniques. Really crazy. But that is not enough for the rune. It'll be fine. We already It'll have. We already have some. Oh. Uh, what? So, so what, another guy that we know. Our associate. Has, we'll make has it worse. Then. Good bit. We d- we didn't ask you many questions. Okay. You need ten thousand white draka. Who? Oh right. You have Harriet and Bin and Krishna and I, th- I suppose you can carry it with the four of you. Oh, is it super heavy? Well, it's a big barrel. You put oh. it in my car. Don't we yeah, have a we bag have cars. of bag of holding or something? Yeah, sports cars. Oh, it's it's not game. No, it's like it's, yep. it's big around the bag of holding. It's like what about our vehicles? Well, well, you can set it on the vehicle, but you gotta get out of the building. Oh, yeah, okay. we can carry that. We're fine. Uh, you guys so, have a dolly in the back? We just dump it into the okay. uh, into the portable hole. That would be ten thousand. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> yeah. Hold it up. Uh-huh. Now, normally, <laughs> normally this much requires uh, civic permission from the Naga of the Vale, which is very tricky business. But uh, I will I will talk to them for you. Wait. You might owe them a favor uh, later. I just did a favor for them. I don't know. <laughs> well, right. But, uh, you know, 
My guess is blue. <laughs> More favors. Okay. <laughs> we haven't asked him yet. And he he says, one second. And he goes back behind there. And he comes back out. And he's like holding this, kind of like this. He just has it like this. And he's kind of walking out with it. And it's this huge drum. And it's it's got kind of clear glass looking stuff, material, on the middle, in the middle. And then you have um, adamantium bands on the top and bottom. And there's like magic rune stuff all over it to make it essentially strong. Very nearly unbreakable. Uh, but it's empty right now. He, he sets it down. Right there. He sets it down. Okay. That will be 10,000 white rocka, or equivalent other coinage. Pay the man. But it's empty right now. Oh, you might have something nice. Pay the man, Ompi. I cannot give this to you without payment. It is required. Uh, Pay the man, Birdman. So, I uh, That's what it I believe the did he give me... Who has this? The robot man has the money. Yeah, give, give him Thanks, the money. Thanks, awesome, bitch. I just throw it all out. <laughs> <laughs> or better just throw it up. Yeah. Like, That's how I do it. Who shits me? of the group fund. I am. Okay. Mark off 10,000 white rockets. Jesus. Oh, look at that. It's right here. Got it. That was easy. <laughs> all okay. We saw you pay quite a bit of money in there. Yeah. I didn't realize. Nice. And it's a Pretty good size to change. Uh, he just kind of slides it into uh, this like sort of weird opening in the like in the the space behind the counter. It just kind of disappears down this hole. He says, "Thank you very much." Wait, I'll say you forgot one. Let's go. <laughs> and just throw it. It's got oil all over it. <laughs> shit. Sorry, sorry. And, and sorry. He's, that is gross. <laughs> don't, don't do that to you. That's disgusting. And he, because uh, he's he's kind of a tall guy. He's about as tall as uh, he's actually he's a little bit shorter than mm-hmm. Harriet, maybe uh, five or six inches shorter than Harriet. And <coughs> he bends down and he puts his finger in at the very bottom of this barrel, and he. As he picks his finger up, you see it fill up with tech. Oh shit, son. He shoots Technos at his finger? Make it rain. Yeah. That's like little Turk Senor. Oh, right. Turns water into wine. <laughs> yeah. It's like Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's our Walmart. I forgot. I'm happy I didn't have that in this film. This is, this is what you need. Uh, oh, wait. And he kind of puts, puts yeah. the lid on. Puts the lid on it. <laughs> and uh, seals it. Touches it a few places and it, it seals up. You should be good now. It will not explode when you take it to places. Good shit. Uh, yes. Very safe in this container. Uh, is there any other business you have with me? Yes. Mm. You are frequent Could shoppers here. Look, can Could we I hug him? Ring, ring, ring protection. Yes. yes. I want to hug him. Sure. Now wants to hug him. I'll you tell you that. His hair is coarse. Uh, not super coarse, but you know, like a llama's is. Not a soft animal. No. <laughs> I'm not super soft. Do you have, Some of them are, I guess. Do you have but. armor for a person who doesn't wear armor? That's a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> you silly son oh, of a bitch. That's armor for a person who doesn't wear armor. I see. Um, Why I, are you? You have that? you have very nice uh, belt that gives you armor bonus. Boost your armor. Okay. Yes. Face protection due to uh, well. You can wear armor though. You don't let's have do to be this. Take a break. We're gonna break. Yeah. All right. Take a break. He actually does get bonuses for not wearing it. Oh. Well.